demo will show how to use Stackstorm to run Perfsonar probes on extreme SLX switches. Our network has a couple of SLX switches. We're going to run a Stackstorm workflow that will run performance tests between these devices across the network fabric. Results will then be posted to Slack. Our chatbot responds to certain commands. If we use the PWCTL command, it will trigger performance probes. We can choose iPerf, one-way latency and trace path tests. Let's start with a basic iPerf probe between SLX1 and SLX2. In the background, this kicks off a fairly simple workflow. This workflow first chooses the appropriate test, then runs it and posts things back to Slack. Looking on our history tab, we'll be able to see our workflow in progress. We can see the actions currently running. Pretty soon we should see some results back in Slack. And there's our results. Now we're seeing one gigabit. That's what we expect to see with the default iPerf settings. You can try running with higher bandwidth levels. 8.3 gigabits is about the maximum that you'll see for a Linux VM with a 10 gigabit connection. We can also run other probes. Let's try the one-way latency measurement. Remember that ping measures the round-trip response time. Running the one-way latency measurement will give us the latency in one direction only. This is useful if you're suspecting things like asymmetric routing. Looking at our results here, consistently two hops, which is what we expect for a simple network. And those one-way measurements are within bounds for what we expect to see. We can also run a trace path test. This is kind of like trace route, but it does more than that. You can also do things like check the path MTU. This is really useful if you're debugging things like a jumbo frames or MTU issue. Looking at our network, we can see our path MTU is 1500. That could be an indication of a problem. To see the workflows that we've written for this demo here, go to github.com slash stackstorm slash st2 underscore demos.